Welcome, welcome, Morning. welcome, everybody. Hello, this is Christiane. Richard. Coming to you live with the Wednesday Word from the Mentor Program. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is the Mentor Broadcast, our Wednesday Word. We've just started this back up for every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. We're so excited to be back to do the Wednesday words. Amen. 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 Richard, what do you have to say? How was last night? Man, it was something else, Christy. Man. Oh, it my. Was, now, seriously. It was, good morning, Shanna. Shanna, good morning. No, it was powerful. Oh, man. I mean, it was deep. It, it was, was really, really, really That was deep. at the bottom Thank of... Thank you, of, girlfriend. That's at, it was at the bottom of... of uh, God's heart. Oh, where man. That, where that Woo. come out of. That Wasn't was, it? Yeah. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch uh, the Rare Part 5 on the Drive-By Church broadcast last night, hey, I Tim. just put it back up. I put it actually... Mama Jay. I put it in high definition off of our YouTube. You can go to my page and see it. You don't want to miss that teaching. I'm telling you what. We're teaching truth and reality about the rarity oh, of awesome. God moving. Hey, Madison. I love you. Hey, Tim. Hey, Mama Jay. Love you, love you, love Madison. you. We began to break down about a poverty spirit and God has this morning, I've been in here for hours with Yay. him this morning, mm. getting the next two deep lessons of insight to breaking a morning, poverty Sandy. spirit to be able to come into the fullness of the rarity in which God has plans. I can't but wait. this morning, I somebody say this morning. This morning. You can't wait. I can't wait for the, the rare. Oh, I can't either. Right <laughs> I quick, can't Richard. wait for this, actually. Amen. Right quick, before we get into Wednesday's Word, the quick devotional that we have here on the Mentor Program, won't you go ahead and tell us about this coming Thursday night? I guess it'd be smoke signals, and uh, you know it's going to. It's God's keeping me on a theme of the mind, and this Thursday at six o'clock. This Thursday, you'll see the smokes. You'll see the smoke <laughs> at six o'clock. It's going to be on Blinded Minds. Amen. Now, that's over on Richard's Facebook page, okay? So, every Thursday evening at 6 p.m., you can catch the smoke signal there on his page. And every Tuesday night mm. here on my page, you can find the drive-by church service. Amen? And then you can, every Wednesday morning, starting this morning, every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m., we'll be doing the quick drive-by Wednesday Word in the Mentor Program. Do it a quick devotional to help us uh, start amen. off our week in a amen. powerful way. Well, we've already started the week, but Wednesday is about the day that everybody's starting to decide, do I go with the steam I had on Monday or am I falling back? <laughs> yeah, and come which on. way am I going to go? So today, Richard, I'm very excited about this little quick devotional oh, that we have. Are y'all ready? Get your pen, get your paper. Let's dig yeah, in. And it. Tim Frost, we can't wait to see that yeah. baby coming, brother. Congratulations, we're, brother. We're praying for you and Brooke, declare it as smooth delivery. Amen. No complications. You guys are almost there. So we smooth. cannot wait to see your little bundle of joy, your treasure <laughs> from heaven. We'll be watching for the pictures. Make sure and take us, you, brother. brother. Love you guys so much. All right. Richard, open this up in this devotional in a quick time of prayer. Oh, yes, Father. Father, we come to you this morning. And just thank you for this, this stop in uh, uh, in the middle of the week to get us through the rest of the week, Father God. And we just thank you for the refreshing of your word, Father. We desire and we hunger after your word, yes. Father God. And I just I just know the apostle has already had something that's brew it's in her heart, not brewing. It's it's come up out of her heart, Father, that you put in there. So Father, at this time we just give you all the glory, all the Woo! honor, and all the praise because it's of you, Father. We love you, Father God. Amen. Amen. And you guys, I think Richard will be doing next week's. He don't know it yet, but next week's devotional. Richard and I are going to tag team. We're a team, and we're going to tag team on these 15-minute devotionals. Amen. We're Amen. going to try to keep it into 15 minutes, but let's go and see what we can do starting oh, now. Let's do it. Amen. Let's, let's do, it. do it. Today is a booming, Boom. leave and cleave kind of day. Oh, I love that title. Say that again. <laughs> leave and cleave. Leave and cleave. This Wednesday word here on the Mentor Program is going to be words, devotionals wrapped around the principles of God. Amen. We're going to teach the establishment of the kingdom of God through the principles of God. And one of the principles of God in which he has is to leave and to cleave. Amen. Isn't that awesome? It's going Amen. to be a leave and cleave kind of day. Hello. Good morning, hey, Francis. Francis. Oh, my gosh, girlfriend. Hi. I missed you so much. Amen. Francis, if you haven't been watching the Rare, go to our YouTube page. Amen. You need to watch these. They're so massive, so amazing. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Let's dig right in. Let's take our Bibles. Let's Good morning, Amber. Amber. Let's go to Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. 
Okay, are y'all ready? Set. Where's, where's that at? Genesis is. Uh, is it the last? Uh, oh no! Wait, no wait. It's the first book in the Bible. Amen. We love to have fun in everything we do. Amen. So Genesis chapter twelve, verse one. It says this: God told Abraham to leave his past behind him. Ah, well, there's a word there. There's a word there. Wow. Now, if the beginning of writing started with Abraham. That is where we are grafted in through the Abrahamic blessing, through the Abrahamic covenant, through the Abrahamic understanding. Then we need to understand here today that just like in the beginning when God was telling Abraham to leave his past behind him, there is something that we can mm. gather here today uh, that yeah. God was about yeah. to promote Abraham. Amen. And he needed Abraham mm. to understand that promotion came through leaving and cleaving to leave wow. your past ah, behind. Come on. Yeah, come on. He told him, he said, God told Abraham to leave his past behind him. Somebody say, I'm leaving it behind me. I'm leaving it behind me. I'm going to cleave to it. I'm going to cleave to I'm it. I'm going to cleave to leaving. Gonna, oh, <laughs> You're going to leave wow. your past behind. Very vital that you get this into your understanding today, into this devotional. Lot was represented an attachment to Abraham's heathen past. See, there is things that are attached to your heathen past. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm wow. speaking some truth right here today. That wow. if they told Abraham it was important for him to leave that past, leave the past of the yeah. heathen, then he's telling us here today, it's vitally important that we understand the principle of leaving the past. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody. Amen. See, Lot, now he, Lot was his nephew and he loved Lot. Amen. Just because you love something of your heathen past or somebody's your family, sometimes God said it is important Ooh, to leave, leave it behind because that heathen way, that heathen thing, that heathen attachment will draw you back into the old man. Who am Amen. I speaking to today? Come on now. So he said Lot was trying him to the past. Lot was tying him, not trying him. Excuse me. He was trying him too. Amen. But yeah. Lot was tying him to the past and keeping him from moving from transitioning forward in God's promises. See, we're in a ripe time. Mm. Somebody say the timing is ripe, baby. The timing is ripe, baby. We're in a ripe time of transition. We're in a ripe time that God yeah, is saying, are. I've got some forward motion, mm. some transitioning into my mm. promises, but you must first choose to obey mm. the word that I began out with in Genesis mm. with Abraham of telling him that you have to mm. leave your past behind. Hey, Miss Valerie Teal, welcome, welcome, welcome to the broadcast. Good morning, You've got to leave Mr. his past King. behind him. There were some things of yesterday. See, it doesn't have to be even mean that there was bad things, but there is some things, some mindsets, some things of yesterday that you there must you choose to leave behind. Yeah. Amen. If you do not disattach from yesterday, you won't have today. You will not be able to step into the promises mm. that God has for us right here in this day and this hour. Amen. Woo! Amen. Hey, Amber, I'm so glad God's speaking to you. Hey, Tommy. All right? So, Tommy, morning, we're Tommy. coming out of Genesis 12, 1. And God awesome, was told Amber. Abraham to leave his past behind him. There is some things that you can't take into today, let alone tomorrow, of yesterday. Yeah, come on now. Now, come on. We got to, we got to get this principle mm. down. If we don't get this principle of leaving and cleaving, you will not be able to obtain. Oh, my gosh. And if you can't obtain, you can't even begin to occupy the things of God wow. of this hour. Wow. Yesterday and yesterday's mentality mm. will keep you out of today's promises and tomorrow's future yeah, occupancy. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. All right, all right, here we go. See, we got to, he was telling Abraham there, he was telling him, you got to leave past hurts. You got to leave past mistrust. You got to leave past yeah, relationships, past relations, etc. Things of the past, things of yesterday, even if they were good God things, they're not the things mm. of today. There's a mentality is what we're talking yeah. about. I'm telling you what we've been for the last month teaching people between smoke signals and, and the online drive-by broadcast. We've been teaching you about mindsets and oh my gosh, God has delivered some deep revelation mm. for next Tuesday night. I'm you do not want to miss it. I am telling you what. But mm, there is geez. one must leave and move forward. I went all across the broadcast yeah, saying, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to leave it I'm and cleave it. I'm going to leave it and cleave it. <laughs> I'm going to have a leave it and cleave it kind of day. Amen. Because today mm. destines tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mm. 
What you decide today will destine your tomorrow. Oh my gosh, come on now, somebody. Your decisions oh. today on whether you'll grab this principle of leaving and cleaving will decipher your future. God's already given you all your future, but I, what I'm talking about is whether you enter in or not. Whether you're able to yep. occupy the mm. things of God. Ah, Jesus. Woo! That's smoking. <laughs> That's smoking hot there. I just uh, I just had a vision. I just seen this vision of a person. He's got these two hey, Sherry, got you, these two big old freaking suitcases. And he's in 2020, but Jesus stops him at 2021 and says, mm, you, you can't bring that stuff in there. Uh -uh. you got to leave all that baggage there to, to come in to the new season, yes. the new hour. Yes. So. You will never be able to occupy if you don't first leave. You'll never be able to cleave. See, occupancy mm. is, cle is, is cleaving. Leaving, letting go, and cleaving is grabbing a hold of. Mm. You got to have a leave and cleave kind of day. Come on now, I'm teaching wow. you some principles right here. I am teaching awesome. you some wow. truths. All right, are y'all ready? So one must leave at, in order to move forward. So to transition, this is what we're talking about: transitioning. Okay, there is a there is transitioning begins first in the vision. Where does vision come from? God. Your mindset. Oh, amen. You first see your vision here. You grab it through your heart, but your heart and your mind are connected, okay? So to transition in vision to possession, see, there is things that God wants you to possess mm. in this hour that if you don't let go of yesterday, you won't possess the things of today and tomorrow. Oh, come on now, somebody. Oh, wow. I know this is good. I know I'm on it, all right? Because mm, he's on too. it, all right? Yeah. In person, listen, he's talking about transitioning. He's talking about transitioning in vision. He's talking about the vision creating the possession. Mm. And what he's talking about is in personal as well as corporate promises and vision. Wow, yeah. Okay? Your promise, you must get down these principles right here. Let's go to Philippians. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3. Verse 13 and 14. Philippians 3, 13 and 14. I'm going to read it out of the Amplified as well as the Passion Translation. We're going to start with the Amplified. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, ah, yeah, forgetting what is behind and straining yeah. towards what is ahead. What has he not grabbed hold of yet? I have not considered myself to have yet taken hold of it. What's the it? His future, his destiny, mm. his promises. But one thing I do in order to, to obtain that is I forget what is behind and strain towards what is ahead. Oh, yeah, I love that. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which mm. God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. But if you do not let go of those things. See, Amen. Lot had a hold of him into his past. Lot was what was keeping him from his future movement. Amen. Lot was keeping him in a mindset of yesterday. Yes. See, there is some places you're going that not everybody can go. And it doesn't Amen. have to be that something bad happened. We got to get that understanding. It doesn't have uh, to be that yeah. somebody's even bad for you. It just is. It's not going where you're going. And you got to let go. You got to leave it. And you got to cleave to what he's promising. So you got to cleave towards the prize. You got to cleave towards mm. the goals, the heavenward things in Christ Jesus here on the earth realm for your life. Is that not good? I mean, that oh, is good. Yes, now listen yes. to this out of the Passion Translation, okay? I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. Yes. However, however, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all the past as I have fastened my heart to the future instead. Oh, mm, my wow. goodness. I love that. See, you've got to cleave. Wow. Cleave is to fasten. You cannot mm. cleave. You cannot fasten. Fasten your heart to the future if you are still In cleaving the, mm. to the past. Amen. Amen. See, God's That's ready to promote us, but we can't be promoted if we're hanging on to Amen. yesterday. Ooh, it is hot in here. Boy, the glory uh, of God I'm is gone. So it says, I forget all the past. I have fastened my heart to the future instead. I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching Yay. the heavenly goal and gaining yes. the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. Uh -huh. Now, he very plainly tells us right here uh -huh. that we don't have to do it on our own. So in order to leave <clears throat> yesterday, you got to cleave 
to him, Amen. to his anointing. Yes. See, he says, yeah. see, can you imagine Abraham, the decision he had to have there to leave? Wow. Lot, Lot yeah. was his nephew and had been with yeah. him all that time. But he had to make a decision. Somebody's at the valley of the road of decisions today. Ooh. Uh. He had to make a decision. And that decision sometimes can't be done easily. But he says, fear not. I give you the anointing. I give you the oil. In other words, mm, I give yes, you the Father. grace mm. to do it. He but does. it's still a He's, choice, Richard. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, it is. It's still a choice. Will you choose to have a leave and cleave it kind of day and, and walk mm. into the fullest of occupancy of which God has leave designed and for cleave your life? It. Amen. You got to leave and cleave. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of time. That's so cool. let's look here at what the word leave literally means. I want to break it down into some some uh, some simplicity of understanding. Yes, come okay. On. You got to number one, leave yesterday in the past. Yeah, amen. Number two, you got to leave doubt about God's goodness. You will never be able ah, to cling yay. to your future if you don't leave doubt about God's goodness. Amen. Areas in which you have doubt pertaining to the goodness of God on the earth realm, you must begin to leave those and cleave mm. to the truth that he has goodness in all things. Amen. Okay? Number three, leave self-centered thoughts. Oh, oh did I go there? <laughs> Self-centered thoughts will keep you holding on to yesterday. Yeah, amen. Because you can't amen. see the fullness of the future. So you want to hang on to what you know you do have because you got some control issues. You won't be able to cling <laughs> to the future in the measure that God Ooh. wants if you don't deal with self-centered controlling issues. Okay? <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Mm. Number four, leave negative defeated thinking. Amen. You will never Amen. cleave in the fullness of what God has intended for you if you do not leave negative, defeated thinking. And that yes. is a choice that as you choose to change your perspective on the way of things you have been thinking. And mm. we have been teaching you solidly for the past month of how to do this. And we're going to continue on Thursday and next Tuesday. So you Carry make sure you on. catch on those broadcasts. Amen. Number five, leave off fear of the future. Mm. If you do not leave fear, you won't be able to grab the future. You will leave, you will cleave to a fear instead of cleave to a promise. So you've got to leave all fear of the future. Oh, you wow. don't think that's true? I have many people that I minister to all the time that have a fear of the future. Yes, ma'am. Afraid of what's going to be. Yep. You've got to leave that behind. You know what the future holds. You have been victorious. Mm. You are more than a conqueror through Christ yeah. Jesus who strengthens mm. you. You are a kingdom kid. You must, Listen, guys. Leaving has to deal with identity. And so does Ooh. cleaving. Ooh. Come okay? on, word, So let's word. talk about what cleave, what he's trying to tell us here in this quick devotion. Yeah, come on. you got to cleave to your tomorrow. Oh, I like that. See, when you cleave to tomorrow, you always know there's another opportunity. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a down low from that heaven. Right. That's right fresh there. right that's there. Fresh. That's fresh meat. That, that, there you go. There you go. We could close it right there. But I've got a little bit more to say. You gotta cleave <laughs> to word to the word of God. In other words, what do I mean by cleaving to the word of God? That means to renew daily, to saturate yes. to his yes. now mm. word. See, yesterday's manna is no good for today. Remember he told him, mm. he told his children, I I'll, I'll serve you manna for each day. Alexa, stop. Time's up. I got a few more minutes. I couldn't get it in in 15 minutes this morning. I'm sorry. He ran over a little. Let's so go. he said, we got to cleave to the word of God. We got to cleave by renewing to what he is saying to us. See, there's going to be things in the future that you're not going to understand. Mm. You're not going to even necessarily believe, but you've got to begin to renew yourself to the now word of God because the prophets mm. are going to be and the apostles are going to be sharing and laying the foundation of the great commissioning of the worldwide global impact. And you must be able to cleave into that. And the only way that you will do that is if you begin to renew your mind afresh daily. That's it. That's Don't it. discount a That's word just it. because you might not understand it. Begin to cleave. Mm. Begin to leave doubts and be open-minded to cleave to understand and receive something fresh, a new, deeper revelation, knowledge, and insight. And then the Word tells us, in all you're, understa in all you're mm. getting, get understanding. You must cleave to the understanding of God of the hour. Okay? Number four, you got to cleave to the vision. You've got to ask God to bring a vision afresh, bring clarity of sight, amen, to the vision of the now moment, all right? To cleave means to become one flesh with, to become uh, one with God's words yes, of yes. promise, visions, dreams, so that one forsook all other words. 
You got to cleave everything that's contrary to what God is speaking in this now hour. If mm -hmm. you do not, you if you do not leave, you will never be able to cleave and you will forsook all other words. You've got to forsook, forsake, let go of everything that is contrary to what mm -hmm. God is promising to the earth realm. And his promise that you got to understand is John 10, 10. The thief cometh to steal, kill, kill and, destroy, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life, life and life, life more, more abundantly. abundantly. That doesn't expire. Amen. See, people have poverty mentality that makes that an expiration word, that that word expired, that that means just at the moment of mm -hmm. salvation. Right. That means through eternity, he has life and life more abundantly. So no matter how great your life has been, he's got always got more. He's always got greater. He's always got larger. Life and life more abundantly doesn't stop or expire just because a pandemic has came. Ah, come on. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. You must leave the past and cleave to what he has promised. You must believe God has better things in front of you than behind you. This is where your dreams of reality are going to come true and going to come into play. Amen. Change your focus. If ever I could charge you, I charge you this morning. Change your focus. Stop looking at your circumstances in front of you and lift up your eyes. Mm. Change your perspective and your attitude. Richard, read us too about the... Oh, you're not on here. Go over here, baby. Share with us. Share with us about this right here. About vision, understanding, and endurance. Endurance. Vision. Start with vision. Vision. See it. Receive it. Mm. Stop, yeah, stop right See there. See it now. and receive it. Wow. Uh, this is the hour you you we gotta catch God's vision. Yes, we gotta see His vision. We gotta receive His vision. We gotta put because the, the past is gonna keep you where you can't see that vision exactly. of God. Exactly, exactly, exactly. To step in and to receive it. So to receive it, then you gotta do what? Push the past away. Leave get, it. Yeah. To receive it, you gotta leave it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Mm. Go ahead, dog. You will die without vision. Wow. Be sensitive to the glimpse God gives you about the future he wants you to possess. Now, understand that everything that God does is his ways are higher than our ways. Yeah, amen. So you got to get out of little thinking. You got to leave limitless thinking. You got to leave little thinking. You got to see Ooh, when God really thinking. begins to give you vision, it's so huge you can't hardly imagine it. Amen. But you got to clear, you got to leave. That vain mm. imagination of inability, of inadequacy, and yeah. cleave to the promise that if it's mm. bigger than you, it's God. Amen. Because he doesn't want us fulfilling anything on our own. He wants us cleaving to him yes. and his ability. That's, that's what I wrote us. over here a while ago was uh, the past and fear will keep God small mm. in your vision. Say that one more time. The past and fear will keep your God looking small. Yeah. Be expanded. The, or the past will keep that. Yes, yeah. That's, yeah. Good. that's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's good. Understanding. Understanding the purpose of the storm. Mm. <laughs> when God gives you a revelation, the enemy will send a storm, a distraction. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what 2020 was all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also believe it was about God, too. Amen. Bumping the Amen. bucket to show yes. us what's in there. Yes. A distraction to take away from the word. God will use the storm to build your patience so you can inherit the promise. Amen, <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen, amen. God mm. will use your storm Whoa, to build, build your, your patience, patience so you can inherit the promise. Now, that's a word. That is a word. That's awesome. Right there. I need that Amen. on. I want that on a t-shirt. Amen. Another thing that we got to have in order to leave and cleave, uh, begin to set this foundation for us, is we must begin to have endurance. 
Uh, you will not yeah. have endurance, Richard, if you don't have commitment. Now, this amen. goes back to the poverty teaching that we were talking on last night uh, on the rare broadcast, that a poverty mindset will keep you from long-term decisions, will keep you from relationships. Mm. It will keep you out of commitment. You won't commit. You can look in the world today. Nobody wants to commit to nothing. Nobody wants to get married yeah, anymore. Yeah. I'll just live with you so I can leave you whenever I want to. I don't have no commitments because without commitments, there's no responsibility. So you've got to learn that you can never have endurance if you don't first come with the understanding of truth about commitment. It takes commitment to endure. Yeah, and if you're carrying all that baggage of the past, and even if you have fear, you're going to be so wore out, you're not going to have any endurance to go over into God's vision land, if yes. you will. Yes, yep. amen, amen, yes, that is powerful, yes. Yep. So you must make the decision to be consistent in your faith so that God will deliver yes. his promises yes. to you. See, the promises aren't, it isn't God's error that they're not coming. It's about your faith. It's about yep, your belief. Yep. It's about your commitment to endure in what he said, no matter what circumstances around you say contrary. That's so right. you've got to leave circumstances. You've got to leave getting wrapped up in circumstances and cleave to that which mm -hmm. he has spoken, no matter what is around you, no matter what roar is roaring around you. Oh. The only roar mm -hmm. that matters is the promise that he spoke to you. You gotta have it and leave it and cleave it kind of day. And that's okay? the roar of God. Yes. Ah. You are only rewarded for that which you endure in life. Okay? You got to learn to operate in God's system. If there's anything I could charge you today, it would be this, that you must understand the difference between God's operation system, between the kingdom system and the worldly system. Without yes. this right yeah. di di uh, dividance, without this right revelatory knowledge and understanding, you will be cleaving to the wrong thing. You are leaving the wrong thing. You've got to leave the world system and cleave to the kingdom system, mm. which is totally contrary to one another. There can't be no mixing it. And yeah. that's why there's been yeah. an instability in the people of God because they've mixed a little of the world and they've mixed a little bit of the kingdom. Is that not the works of the enemy's devices? Yeah. They've not done yeah. it. Many has been done innocently, but that's what 2020 has done to really awaken us up to which kingdom yes, we is. are serving, which kingdom we're an army in, and the that's understanding good. of how we had innocently even intertwined the two that's good. together. There are two operating systems in operation, the world system and God's system. If you operate in God's system, your needs will be met. To do that, yeah. you must seek ye first the kingdom of God, understand what kingdom is, and operate in that kingdom. Uh -huh. The dominion of the king, God's ways of doing things. Yes. Which his ways are totally contrary to the worries of the world. You must have understanding of seed time and harvest. We must understand how vision and wholesome wholesomeness of vision works as well. It has seductions and each sec uh, seductions, I didn't mean to say that. It has sections. <laughs> <laughs> and each section has seed, time, and, and harvest. harvest yeah. It's not just one seed, time, harvest. Okay? It is a lifestyle. Example, your home, your city, your state, your nation, and the nations. These all are different categories. They're different sections. Yes. And each one, each holds its seed, time, and harvest. The goal is growth, consistent movement, and possession. Each one holds. The new transition and progressed possessions. Wow. This is what comes from these understandings. In the final transition of birthing, which I believe this is where we are at today, you've got to understand when people are ready, when the kingdom of God is ready to birth, okay, the kingdom of God is ready to birth a worldwide global impact. That is what we're hearing. The setback was a setup for a comeback. Mm. He's ready to birth his rarity on the yes, earth realm, yes. all right? That wow. always comes if you think about a woman in a birthing a woman that is about to birth a child, okay? She needs someone to encourage her. Now, Richard taught us a few weeks ago about the power of encouragement. You must, you can't be a long ranger and isolated. The enemy wants to isolate you so you don't have others to encourage you yeah. Yeah. around yeah. the promises yes. of God, yes. encourage you around prosperity, encourage you around the systems operations of the kingdom, amen? And you've got to have that encouragement around you. Listen, she tells her that, the, the midwife will tell her, encourage her that everything is going to be okay. A woman Amen. needs that encouragement in the midst 
of when she thinks she can't go on anymore. And that thinking of she can't go on anymore usually is right at the end push, right yeah. before the baby comes yeah. on through where, before the head pops. Amen. And this is where we're at right now, where God is calling yes. his apostles and prophets to begin to prophesy and to cry out. I've been hearing for the last week, Revelations 4.1, and a cry of crying out, cometh, heareth, and let me show you mm. what is to come. Come up, hear it, and hear what is to come. Come up higher. Come up here. Amen. And let me show you these things. Okay? So, what that is, is that's a raising up above what you see, what you feel, what you express, what you're doubting. Raising above that and telling you everything is going to be okay. That you can do it. And that the baby's going to be okay. The yeah. babies in which the kingdom, the purposes of the kingdom of God is going to be okay. The things he said he wanted to establish on this earth realm. It's going to be okay. It's going to come. <coughs> but you've got to understand the greatest battle is right before that head. pops. So she wants to quit. It's enough, too much pain, too much. She's wore yeah. out. I mean, she's exhausted. But God said, it's going to be okay. One more push. How do you push? You come up here. Amen. That's good. That is a good word. Give me just a second. That I know we've gone over. Word. We've gone about 30 minutes. It's good stuff. Good stuff. After this, I looked and behold, doors standing open in heaven and the first voice which I heard addressing me like mm -hmm. the calling of a war trumpet said, come up here. I will show you what must take place in the future. Yes, amen. This has been on me for the past five days. Every morning when I wake up, the moment I get up, that's what I hear. I hear yep. that trumpet sound. Come up here that I may show you what must take place in the future. Isn't that just like the end thrust of a woman giving yeah, birth to a yeah, baby? Yeah, it is. Come on, the doctor will say, you can do it. Come on, your midwife, your your husband, whoever is standing there. One more push. Just one push. more push. And once that head pops through... Amen. It's a breeze. Amen. It's got it. It's all done. It's nothing but a thing after that. And then all pain of it is gone. And there's nothing but what? The joy yes. left yeah. for Amen. that which has been birthed. Okay? That's good. This is what is happening in 2021. We're about to experience the joy of the pregnancy of the things of 2020. Oh, I believe it. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Of the pains of 2020. Amen. All right. So this is where you call upon the Lord through remembrance, mm. not for him to remember, but for you to remember. See, you begin to remember when you come up higher, when you come up, mm. I can't get away from that. He said, I, I hear addressing good. me like the calling of a war trumpet said, come up here and I will show you what must take place in the future. When you come up, when you come up to that next realm, you forget about all the pain and what has it been. You forget all of that and you begin to reestablish. You begin to cleave back to promises oh, yeah. of the future. Oh man, that is some good teaching. Yes. It wasn't planned, but it was good. God has brought forth to us the transitioning of birthing our dreams into reality. It's push time. Yes, Guys, it is. it's success time of the visions of which this foundation you were created on. For your dreams, mm, for your call, for your destiny, mm. for your place of passion yes. in the kingdom. Today, mm. as we close this out, I'm going to end this with a decree and I'm going to let Prophet Richard tell us anything that he wants to, to finish on up in here. But I want you to out loud begin to decree this decree with me and him this morning. Father, today, repeat it after me. Father, today, today I am leaving, leaving yesterday, yesterday and cleaving, cleaving to, to today. today. I am moving, moving to the, the next. next. It is, is mine. mine. Yes, Lord. I will not, not be denied. denied. I am I'm a, a person, person of great, great focus. focus and determination. determination. I will have, have what I say. say. I, I will have, have what you say. say. That was what I meant to say. I, let me start that again. I will, will have, have what, what you say. say. I will have. have. I will, will do, do what, what you say. say. I will, will do. do. I will, will not stand still. I will finish. I will have growth. And my, my promises, promises will, will be, be my realities. realities. I am transitioning. transitioning. I have endurance, endurance 
to finish the race. I am operating out of the kingdom operations. It is your system in which I stand. I understand my storm and I have clear vision. It is the day in which we shall leave and we shall cleave in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. We cleave to you, Jesus. Woo, that was good. That's good Wasn't stuff. that good, guys? Yeah. Wasn't that amazing? That was a big old chunk of meat there. That's a chunk mm. of meat. Share with us anything that you want to do as you close out this broadcast for us. Well, I, I just kept hearing it. The most vital script, the scriptures that we can stand on today is Matthew 6, 33. Oh, yes. Sink in God first. Yes. Seek him first before anything. Yes. And the other one is Romans, is Romans 12, too. Renew that mind daily. Renew. I can't yes. emphasize that enough. Yes. That's been on yes. me for months. Renew that mind daily. That's what's going to keep you healthy up here. That's how we're going to battle up here. Yes. And I also heard this just what the Lord spoke. He said, step out of the world. Mm. Just step out of the world and step up here into the kingdom. Step out of the world. Wow. And come on up here in the wow. kingdom. Wow. It ain't that high. Wow. It's right here. Here's wow. the kingdom. Wow. You're part of the kingdom. Yes. Here's the kingdom. Yes. Let's yes. do this thing. Yes. Well, it's been good. Woo! Ha! Ah! <laughs> Getting hot up in here. Getting hot up in here. Guys. Kingdom's hot. Kingdom's hot. This has been Christy and Richard Highwalker uh -huh. from the Mentor Program, Wednesday's Word. We love you guys. We bless you this day. Blessings, guys. And we guys. can't wait to see you. Tune in with us this Thursday night at 6 p.m. on Richard's Facebook page for the smoke signals. We're going to talk about, he's going to talk about, the blinded minds, continuation, and how to bring us into the mindset that we got to have yeah. to finish out things with the oil and the glory. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Let's God do bless it. you guys. Love you guys. Love Blessings. You. Have a wonderful day.